Whether you're making memes about your friends or just getting inspiration for your house's redecoration, making images with AI can be a lot of fun and super easy. But what if you want to get it done at home on your own local network? We can show you how with the NVIDIA Spark. So what we're actually going to do today is set up Comfy UI. This is a great UI that you can use locally to use all kinds of models to create images. I've done this in Docker before, but I've never had the experience of actually doing the old fashioned way in Python. So let's try that. The first thing we're gonna do here is just make sure that we have all of the required Python languages. So we have Python 3 dash dash version, pip 3 dash dash version, NVCC version, and NVIDIA SMI just to make sure that our GPU is actually seen by the system. So we're gonna copy that over, paste it in, hit enter, and it looks like everything is good. So let's move on to the next step, which is creating the Python virtual environment. I like to keep a tidy workspace, so let's go ahead and clear this. Now we can go ahead and paste in that command. And what this is doing is creating a Python virtual environment for us to use so that we're not affecting any other prerequisites across the system. And we are inside of that now. Now we can go on to the next step, which is installing PyTorch with CUDA support. So we're gonna copy and paste that in. It's gonna go out, it's gonna download all of the system requirements that we need and make sure that we have everything that we need to get started. Once that's done, we're gonna run a git clone on the URL for the GitHub of the Comfy UI repository. And then we're gonna CD into that folder, wait on that to finish. That's all done. So now we can copy this command. Let's copy that git command, paste it in, hit enter. And again, I like to keep a tidy workspace. So let's go ahead and clear this. All right, now we can paste that in, hit enter, and it's gonna go out, pull that repository, and then go into that directory that we just created. Now we're gonna go ahead and clear this. Now we're gonna go ahead and pip install a bunch of dependencies. So we have pip install dash r requirements.txt. That's just gonna go out and get everything that's on that text file. So we're gonna copy that command, paste it in, hit enter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. Now we can actually go out and get stable diffusion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna CD into models checkpoints from the main folder of Comfy UI. Then we're going to wget the hugging face URL for stable diffusion. And then we're going to CD out. So let's go ahead and copy that command, paste it in, hit enter. And that's gonna take a minute to download. Depending on your internet speed, it could take a while, but Stable diffusion is not super huge, so that should be pretty quick. Looks like my ETA is two minutes or so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clear that out. And now what we're going to do is actually launch the Comfy UI server, which means that we're going to be able to access it from anywhere on our network, even if it is on this machine. And we're gonna do python.mainpy dash dash listen, and that's going to listen on 0.0.0.0, .0 which is always going to be the machine that is talking to itself. Copy and then paste that in, hit enter. All right, so that means that the web dialog for this is already available. So let's go to localhost colon 8188, and we should be able to see Comfy UI and get started doing our own images. So we're going out to HTTP colon slash slash localhost 8188. That means that this is completely on our own local server and we can access it from other places on our network just by typing in the IP address of this server, then 8188. But let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And bam, we have Comfy UI, which is a great way to get started with stable diffusion and other image generating models. I know I'm probably gonna end up using it to help me decorate my house, but what are you gonna use it for? Maybe different micro center locations? And on that note, if you want a micro center near you, put hashtag I want a micro center near me down in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.